Hi again, how are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. So, uh, I had a good week overall. I uh, was intending on staying at 290 for another week, but uh, I fell under that level and I uh, couldn't bring myself to make myself go back over it, so I'm not that far under where I want to be now anyway, so that's good. Um, that, my uh, fat percentage went down again, um, not enough to compensate for what was going on in the data set. Uh, I had a really good week fall out of the data set and my um, bad week from when I had a cold is still in for its last week in the data set. So, means that I have lost a total of three pounds, a little over three pounds of lean body tissue since my DXA scan on April 11th. And I'm concerned about that. Uh, I, of course, I started doing hypertrophy specific training but I'm also going to make some tweaks to change 7 and bring in some changes as part of change 10. Um, change 7 I was going to talk about this week but I'm going to talk about it next week including the uh, pizza issue and the issues to do with motivation that I told Kelly I was going to do. Do that next week, excuse me. Um, so this week I wanted to talk about 290 because it's kind of milestone-ish for me. Uh, it's the last big holy shit moment I had with the scale. You know how like you know, when you're losing and gaining and losing and gaining, at the top of a gain sometimes you have those, uh, you know, you have that moment where you step on the scale, you see, see some outrageous number and it spurs you into action. I've had a few of those. Um, you know, I was really fat when I was young extremely fat, uh, not when I was a kid, but when starting at around 16, 17, 18, I uh, was really fat. Uh, I bought my first scale when I was 19 and I was 288, which, you know, is the same I am now, pretty much, except back then I was a lot flabbier, I had a lot less muscle tone, a lot, you know, still had a lot of baby fat on me. Um, I was wearing size 50 pants. I w had breasts larger than most of the female friends I had at the time. And when I would look in the mirror, I would see the most hideous, disgusting thing that I could possibly imagine. Um, I had zero self-confidence, and I hated myself 100%. So I starved myself to below 200 pounds. Of course, if you starve yourself, you will gain it all back and more. And that's exactly what happened. And on the way back up, I tried literally everything. Maybe not literally, but almost everything. Um, you know, and I tried to all kinds of revolutions. I was going to cut this out and never eat that again. And i um, going to spend hours at the gym every day. And I was going to, you know, only eat that. And, you know, at these particular times. And yada, yada, yada. And none of it fit realistically into my life the way I live it so they were all failures and um, in the spring of 2001 uh, I was either 26 or just turned 27 I stepped on the scale and it was 283 pounds and uh, so that spurred me into action again serious this time at the time I was reading a lot of Atkins-ish type stuff and uh, so uh, you know I gotten to know the role of carbohydrates and the metabolism and uh, their effect on insulin and whatnot. I'd also bought myself uh, a bench and some dumbbells and some weights and so uh, I got myself down to 230 and a pretty good 230. I was satisfied with that. I was able to wear size 36 pants uh, under my gut. I was never that slim but um, you know 36 is normal type clothing. Uh, and I was intending on continuing on, but mostly what I was really satisfied about is I, I thought that I had it beat. Um, I thought that I had outsmarted it, and it was, and uh, I was good. But you know, I just stopped obsessing about it. Like, who wants to obsess about it for the rest of their life, right? So, and also, you know, I was in a relationship. I was in school. I, um, you know, I wasn't exercising um, and it's not like I went out and filled my fat face with everything I could find I just basically lived my life and over the years 
a pound or two every month I would gain until uh, fall of 2005 and um, I stepped on the scale and holy shit I'm 290 pounds I've just gained back everything and more and at that point I just thought to myself forget it I'm getting off the roller coaster I'm happy with my life I don't give a shit anymore um, I'm not doing this anymore so, um, the result was I got to be uh, mid-300s by the end of last year. And I've erased all of that now. I am, I have erased the fat gained in a comfortable, middle-class uh, life, nesting in a stable relationship. That happy fat is now all gone. And what remains is the zombie fat the fat that has come back again and again and this fat is different from that fat this fat is full of vile toxins it's full of the unhappiness of my youth it's full of anger and rage at being a fucking freak in the society of uh, being a freak among my the circle of my skinny friends of being envious of them um, it's full of tears from loneliness and hopelessness. It's full of depression and suicidal thoughts. It's full of starvation to the point of blackouts. And it's full of malnutrition. It's full of uh, hiding myself away, hiding from other people, um, hiding every inch of my skin in formless, uh, baggy, dark clothes, not letting people touch me. It's full of blame and shame and rejection and judgment and failure. From other people, sometimes, but that was nothing compared to what I did to myself. And um, I just you know, I've come to believe something that I didn't really believe before. And that is that I have the right to feel great. I have the right to do anything, go anywhere, and be anything that I want to be in this one and only life that I have. I have the right to take every opportunity and be healthy enough to take every opportunity that comes my way. I have the right to be sexy. I have the right to turn heads when I walk into a room. In a good way. <laughs> I have the right to wear whatever clothes I want to wear. And I have the right to eat rich, hearty, satisfying food. The simplest of all pleasures. I have the right to enjoy that. And I, ha and I don't have to apologize for that. I'm, I'm never more going to apologize for that. And I have the right not to spend endless hours doing stuff I don't like doing in a gym. I am going to claim all those rights. And uh, maybe it can't be done, but I am armed with knowledge and I am armed with experience. And if you think it can't be done, just watch me. Have a good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you.